Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'll be showing you how to interact with yourself and others and items using Ace3. Now, by default the keys are kind of weird and you might want to change them. In order to change your keys, all you have to do is press escape, go to configure, go to controls, go to configure add-ons, and then select the component that you'd like to change the keys for. You'll see multiple components because Ace is not the only one that uses this system. Anyway, once you selected the component that you'd like, select the action that you'd like to change. Double click the assigned key section and then change it into the key that you'd like. And then in order to save it, all you do is press OK and then go back into the game. There's no need for user config folders. The next thing you want to take a look at is the ACE options. You can find them by pressing escape and going to the top left and you'll find the ACE Options button. Now there are quite a bunch of options that you can change and they change for you only. They're client-sided. Yet again, this used to be in a user config but no more. Now there's a few options that are particularly interesting such as the Always Display Cursor for Self-Interaction, the Display Interaction Menus as Lists, and perhaps Do Action When Releasing Menu Key. These options change the way you interact significantly. There are a bunch of other options of course and I recommend you look at them yourself and figure out what you prefer. Yet again, these are your options, these are not controlled by the server you're playing on. Pretty straightforward what self-interaction means. It allows you to do actions for yourself, such as gestures, joining different teams, healing yourself, but also accessing equipment that you have in your inventory, such as a chem light and attach it to yourself and become a monster glowing in the dark. And of course, most of these features work in a vehicle as well. Besides self-interaction, you can also interact with others, such as players, and heal them. Or perhaps you can go to an ammo box and drag it or carry it. You can also go to certain vehicles and attach chem lights to them or IR strobes. Or perhaps unlock your vehicle and lock it when you're back inside. Or something as easy as cutting a fence. It's all possible with the interaction menu. And that would be the end of this video. If this helped you, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll try to answer you. And stay tuned for more videos. Now you take care. Bye-bye.